Survivors of the Titanic tell no greater story of heroism than that of Thomas Andrews, Titanic's chief designer. Witnesses say he was last seen throwing deck chairs into the Atlantic in a desperate bid to save lives. But who was the real man who built the Titanic? The man the world has come to cherish. Uncle Tommy was certainly not a saint. He was a perfectly normal person, a great sense of humor, I'm told, from stories that have come down through the family. And there were incidents in the yard where he didn't stand any nonsense and showed that he was a completely normal person. He epitomized the heroic nature of all that helped save a lot of people's lives on that night. But he obviously, at the top of the tree, uh, got a lot of the respect and, uh, and commentary as being the great hero of the time. And it, it, it does turn it into a very romantic story. His great-grandfather, Captain William Peary, was one of the first harbour commissioners who was instrumental in dredging Belfast Lock to create the facility for Belfast to become a great port. Eliza Peary raised four sons and one daughter. One of those sons went on to become Prime Minister of Northern Ireland, another went on to be Lord Chief Justice, and another was Thomas Andrews, Chief Designer of the Titanic. They were raised here in Ardara in Cumber only minutes away from the family's linen factory and surrounding workers' cottages. Thomas Andrews broke the family tradition in the linen industry by following his uncle, Lord Peary, into shipbuilding. You serve your time with the men, that's the family motto and still is today. And there he is, Uncle Tommy, mucking in with thousands of other apprentices, serving his time. Over five years, Andrews worked alongside the other shipyard workers. He too took on the other hard labor jobs, like any other man. But Andrews was unlike most apprentices. After attending this elite private boys' school in the center of Belfast, he began his apprenticeship at Harland and Wolf by day, while attending this technology college at night. Ship design had caught his imagination, and under the direction of Lord Peary, Thomas Andrews had become a formidable shipbuilder. Thomas Andrews' passion for shipbuilding was soon matched by his love for Helen Riley Barber, the daughter of another linen factory dynasty. Within a year, this wealthy couple were married and moved to this family home in South Belfast, still here today. It was while living here that great uncle Tommy began a dream of his lifetime. He was to design the three biggest ships the world has ever seen, Titanic, Olympic, and Britannic. On the 31st of May 1911, Titanic was launched in Belfast, boasting extraordinary specifications, and Uncle Tommy was at the pinnacle of his career. Within a year of Uncle Tommy's death on the Titanic, my family commissioned a biography. It was not only the Andrews family that cherished his memory. Upon his death, the family received many cables and letters praising the comfort and courage he showed to others before the Titanic sank. My family also helped raise the funds to build this great memorial hall in Cumber, one of the largest in Ireland in memory of anyone. It stands there as a great legacy to Thomas Andrews for his great contribution to industrial life in, in Belfast and to shipbuilding. My family were all great industrialists and we are very proud of the reputation that he has left.